Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host. Good evening. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, my heart is real heavy with this right here. Um, I had to wait a few days because it's, I just feel so bad for Miss Robbie. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to y'all. Welcome to the mental house, okay? It's just crazy. I want to start by saying my prayers, my sincere prayers go up to Miss Robbie because, you know, this is what, I always say about prison. Does it a lot of you know a lot of times it does not rehabilitate anybody. A lot of times it just shows them how to play the game worse or even become more hardened and more angrier. Uh, Malcolm X is an aberration. Okay? Because um, a lot of people, when they go to jail, when they come out, they mad at everybody. And um, they meet other people in jail that have gotten away with a lot of other charges or before or not gotten away with. But, you know, have uh, have a, um, a lot of knowledge about, you know, how to get even deeper. in Because there's levels to this shit, right? So... Today I seen um this article that said more charges for welcome to Sweetie Pie Star and his insurance agent. The grand jury also charged Norman and his insurance agent, Wild Regby Yagnan, 42 of St. Louis, with one count of conspiracy to commit uh, wire and mail fraud. First of all, when you look at this young man, um, I call him a young man. He could be my son. Tim. Tim is mentally ill. Um, I, I don't know anybody that would smile like that and you've just been caught for trying to kill your nephew. You did kill him. You're responsible for his death. More charges have been announced for one of the reality show stars centered around St. Louis restaurant Sweetie Pies. On Tuesday, James Timothy Norman was charged with conspiracy to use interstate commerce facilities in a commission of a murder for hire resulting in a death in connection with the March 2016 murder of 21-year-old Andre Montgomery. He was the last of the Montgomery's, they said, right? Terrica Ellis, an exotic dancer from Memphis who investigators said was Norman's accomplice, was arrested and charged with the same crime. You know, I saw um, another uh, YouTuber's video, uh, Lovely T. I think she did a fantastic job, by the way, uh, I got to give you uh, your props. You did a, such a wonderful job with uh, this story. And um, just <laughs> aside for talking about Norman's hips, she did a very good job um, that I thought um, talking about how he was, they lure, and she, I mean, going back to, using old receipts because I watched the show as well. My cousins used to go to uh sweet pies all the time. My family from St. Louis. Okay, let's just my mama from St. Louis. From the Lou. <laughs> anyway. She showed these uh clips where little Charles and Andre come came running to Miss Robbie saying how um Tim was tripping on them, beating them up, pushing them up against the wall, and being real mean. And it was horrible because you see these two young men and hear this old, jealous-ass old man 
jealous of these two young men for whatever reason. I don't know. This is his dead brother's child. But he was jealous of both of those young men. And Miss Robbie sitting there, instead of enjoying her little time with her little grandbaby, I'm sure that's what she was holding. Yeah, she was holding little Tim. And instead of um, them, um, I mean, her being sitting there to enjoy, she had to get up and go and check Tim for bullying these little young men, 17, 16 years old. And pushing them all around and bullying them. And they were actually afraid of them. And I agree with her. on. And I saw those clips. And it just brought back so many memories. And I, as a mother. As a parent. As an auntie. You know. I think that he could do that. Tell him. And to, to be so jealous. And when I saw that mug shot, I said, you are one nut job. Nobody smiles when they're getting arrested for their mug shot. Um, you know, I say, this freaking drunk or crazy. According to court documents, in 2014, Norman obtained a $450,000 life insurance policy on his nephew, Andre Montgomery, on which Norman was the sole beneficiary. In the day, days leading up to Montgomery's murder, Ellis communicated with Montgomery and informed him that she was planning to be in St. Louis. I mean, whew. the day Montgomery died, Norman and Ellis brought an active and activated temporary cell phones at the same store and then communicated on them all day. Court documents said Ellis also used the cell phone to communicate with Montgomery and learn where he was for the purpose of luring him outside. Immediately after learning Montgomery's location, he used the, he used the woman to lure him out Immediately after that, Ellis placed a call to Norman. Montgomery was shot and killed in the 3900 block of Natural Bridge Avenue on March 14, 2016. Ellis's phone location information placed her in the vicinity of the murder at the time of the homicide. After the murder, Ellis called Norman and began traveling to Memphis. In the days after the murder, Ellis deposited over $9,000 in cash into various bank accounts. On March 18, 2016, Norman contacted the life insurance to try to collect on the life insurance policy he had obtained on his nephew. And people are fucking crazy, dude. His own nephew. On Thursday, the grand jury also charged Norman and his insurance agent, agent Wael Regbihi Yag, Yagman, 42 of St. Louis, with one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. Federal complaints and arrest warrants were previously issued for Norman and Ellis, who were both arrested earlier this week. The indictment alleges that prior to Montgomery's murder, Norman conspired with Yagman to fraudulently obtain a life insurance policy on Montgomery. According to the documents, Norman and Yagman submitted three separate life insurance applications beginning in October 2014. All applications contained numerous false statements regarding Montgomery's income, net worth, medical history, employment, and family background. In the life insurance policy that was ultimately issued, Norman obtained a $200,000 policy as well as a $200,000 policy accidental death rider that would pay out in the event that Montgomery died of something other than natural causes. 
and a $50,000 10-year term writer that would pay out if Montgomery died within 10 years of the policy's insurance in 2014. According to a release from the Department of Justice, if convicted of conspiracy to commit murder for hire or murder for hire resulted in death, the penalty is life imprisonment or death and a fine of $250,000. A conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a fine of $250,000. The release also states the arrests of Norman and Ellis are part of a Operation Legend. Operation Legion or Legend began in St. Louis earlier this month. And that is they have a 50 uh, agents, federal agents coming to St. Louis to combat violent crimes. I'm so sad for Miss Robin. I don't even feel sorry for them. I don't even got nothing to say about them. I, I, I feel so bad for Miss Rock. She didn't deserve that. She don't deserve that. That's a lot. That's a lot. My son, that I tried to give him a certain another thing. And I'm just going to make this as a footnote for a lot of y'all. Uh, in case a lot of y'all don't know that that show is produced by the own um, network which is uh, Oprah Winfrey and um, yeah it don't make her look good either <laughs> by the way but He said, we tried, this is Robbie, he said, we tried to give him a better life and he lost his life. That's what she said uh, with her grandson in an interview with Oprah Winfrey Network after his murder. Robbie Montgomery said her heart was so broken when someone shot and killed her 21-year-old grandson, Andre Montgomery, in the in North St. Louis four years ago. But she didn't know it was her son. They set him up. It was somebody he knew because he got a phone call and he went back outside, Montgomery told the network. Very, very shocking, said James Clark, vice president of public safety in the Urban League of St. Louis. Clark cannot believe that Robbie Montgomery's 41-year-old son, <clears throat> Tim, is now charged with connection for a murder that plot that left his own nephew dead. I remember Tim was a very thoughtful and friendly young man. I worked with him as he reached out to at-risk men and women in the St. Louis metropolitan area. He was very, very supportive of individuals who were coming out of incarceration. Clark took a photo with Norman and his mother at a community support event after Andre Montgomery was killed. The entire St. Louis metropolitan, in particular African American community, community, we are really about this situation. We so love Miss Robbie and the entire family. She has been a pillar in our community. This is a time when we're not looking for answers. We're just looking to show love. And that's what I want to give. And I ask everybody under the sound of my voice to send, if y'all got if some prayer warriors out there, I believe in prayer warriors. Yeah, I do. Send us some prayers for Miss Robbie. I would just hate to be on the end of my son or my daughter killing my grandbaby. Tim yeah, is charged with the commission of murder for hire. Memphis resident Terrica Ellis, Norman's alleged accomplice, also faces the same charge. According to charging documents, y'all already know. During the past interview with Oprah Winfrey Network, Norman went to Natural Bridge Road crime scene with his mother 
He also gave a network interview. An interview. We's laugh. We've lost a lot on this street. You're dealing with a family that has given so much, that has given so much selflessly. Now it's time for us to repay back, to repay the family for being understanding and compassionate. Said Clark. I'm sorry. Said James Clark. To hear this is just so crazy. I never thought this would happen in a million years. Said Kelly Smith, a regular Sweetie Pie's customer. I think we have to let the investigation play out. My heart goes out to Miss Robin, said another frequent quest customer. Federal agents say they have evidence that put Ellis at the crime scene. They also said Norman tried several times and failed to collect on a $450,000 life insurance policy in which he is a sole beneficiary. So, it's true, it's sad, and it's just a um, Another reason why I say sometimes more damage is done from our family, so-called family members, so-called family members. We went up and down the street talking about the white man. I'll see you in the next video.